There's some people unhappy with you, Brandon. Why? Because apparently, I, and I love how I get wind of this, as if I am supposed to answer for your crimes. Okay. They're like, well, Parda spun the wheel and it cursed the Broncos, so then he spun it again because he didn't want to do that. And I'm like, I can't, I can't control what Brandon Perna does. Yeah. It's like lightning in a bottle. You just can't, you just get it. goes everywhere. You can't do it. Everybody knows that second spin doesn't count. Mm. It's a joke. That's yeah. Well, we'll it see what happens to the Bears. Joke. They lose to the Jaguars, maybe. Yeah. It's, it was a joke. I said, yeah, let's go with that one. It's a joke spin. Mm-hmm. Joke spin. But you're like, but if the Broncos, you know, don't get cursed. Dude, if the Broncos know. and Bears lose, then the curse wheel is so, so back. Mm. I don't think the Broncos are going to lose. So my question is, what happens if the curse wheel is wrong again for the second week in a row? I lose all credibility and YouTube uh, deplatforms you. Takes my channel away. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I think that's a that's a good cost because you know you the community this, guidelines. They say if yeah. you start a curse, it better be real. Yeah, it, there's no there's no fake curses here. We're mm-hmm. we're not allowed in that. Also, Perny got power rankings. Oh yeah, let me bring them in. Did you see who I put there at number nine? Oh fuck yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. First thing they, I noticed. I remember there was a comment that was like, I was so pissed we didn't get an honorable mention, but then I saw we were on there and I was like, <gasps> I know, I know. I was nice. I was nice. Oh, baby. All right, let's see it. Hey, oh, appreciate you. All right, let's Wait, see what we got. Did you uh, not even, you don't even have your Green Bay in there? No, Green Bay, I need to see it one more week. Ooh, I need Jair I, to come ooh. back, but I, they're an honorable mention. Wow. Right, so, wow, you have the commanders at three. All right, yeah, so I'm moving them up. I'm buying in. I'm going all in. Also, okay. Did you see the the fake Jaden Daniels passing chart getting just shared into no, I didn't infinity? Even see it. It's true, Billy. It's true. I don't know whether I respect this troll job or if it just <laughs> makes me hate the internet. But let me see, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, I'll bring. So it's just back a fake up. one they were sharing. Yeah, some guy basically made a fake Jaden Daniels yeah, passing okay. chart. He just erased half of it. So it made <laughs> it look like um, Jaden Daniels only throws to one side of the field. It was one of those things where like, I first saw it and I was like, oh, that's kind of strange. I was like, right, wait, so- that's not true. I guess like, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so we both had the Cowboys at 10. That was fair. That was fair. Nine. You, oh, you have the Broncos at seven. Okay, you got the Bears at eight all right okay yeah commanders i want to commanders what a freaking game right now like that the, for the against the ravens you want to see a test of like how good that team is when against ravens yeah. we'll see yeah bro just deleted it <laughs> rookie of the year so i was like <laughs> i got mad at first and then like he's the guys in there <laughs> he's like aha i got him so, you know, it was obviously his intention, right? Yeah. But then it just gets shared so much that people are like, oh, my God, look at Jaden's flaw. Nobody's talking about his flaw. And it's just not true. It's just not a true thing. Yeah. Now, it's it's one of those things that, like, who cares, right? It's not like he just rigged the election Dude, or but that's shit, how, but... but that's how narratives start. Right? I know. Like, that's It literally is how narratives start. Oh, listen, Jack, the Seahawks right now, they're too injured. They suck. Yeah. They suck. All right. So yeah, I put the I put the Bears at eight. I'm rolling the dice with the Bears. Great question, Solomon. Great question. Are they on a two game win streak. Yeah. Okay. Two or three. Uh, I don't know. A little rich for my blood right now, but okay, I get it. Wait. So See, who is not in your top ten? That's what I want to know. Who's not in your top ten? That's in my top ten. Well, the Lions because they're coming off their bye week. Yep. Okay. So you're sticking with that this week. So that's good. That's good. Um, um the buccaneers are not on oh yeah i took all. tampa out that's fair i get it and that was just like that division i was like i think i can only put one team in there if you know if the saints had defeated the chiefs it mm-hmm. might have been number one again i don't know mm-hmm. oh lots of hype videos lots of hype videos the bills are all the way down 12 yeah i took them off yeah took they them off. they have broken my heart i get would you take the would you have the Steelers? no you took the Steelers off right yeah i took the Steelers off yeah because again, they're they'd be probably around you know eleven or thirteen somewhere yeah. around there if I did that. Yeah. But the only thing like 
for me, the the Ravens are a team that I think you could argue any of the the top five spots right now. We'll see, Jack. But like, That's a good point. My my thought was, if your defense gives up five passing touchdowns, you you can't be you can't be up at three. I think is where I had him the week before. So it's like I got to move him down. I know it's Joey B. I know it's the yeah. Bengals division game, but like. That's a lot of touchdowns to give up. I get you. Especially I when get... you got like an elite defense to, to watch every week. When I see what elite defenses actually look like, Tom, couldn't in good faith put the Ravens up any higher than that. It was they ba- it was two different types of games, right? They blew out the Bills, and you're like, okay, they could be dominant. Yeah. And then they also rallied back. You know, they were down yeah, in the game. So I gave it's them a great win. Yeah. It's a great win. It's a gritty, a gutsy yeah. win. That's true. But. Uh, 49ers. <laughs> 49ers would benefit a picking up Robert Sala's DC. Yeah. I would but, not like be their surprised. defense looked good last night. Um, yeah, dude, Pulse Fred Warner's do just he's always just the best at what he does. Mm-hmm. So, whether that's stopping the run, sniffing out the pass, the dude commands that defense so you know, well. Like Warner, like, right? Yeah, Fred. Yeah, well, he's just insane, dude. Frederick. He, is he likes when I call him Frederick. And the longevity of his play, too. Like, he is usually yeah, he's, incredibly he's consistent. Legit. Like, he's on the field. He's a game changer. So, Colts, you just want anybody else right now. You want anybody else. So, Dallas was a team that I was, I almost put the Packers there. And I was like, yeah. ooh, I don't know. But I was like, it's a gutsy win. You know, Dak yeah. is their problem, but also was their solution. Sure. On Sunday and Monday uh, there. But, it was. I had them like an eight at first. Mm. I, I put them in, and I rarely adjust it after I put the team down. Like I put a team at a number. I'm it's like, true. that's just who that team is this week. I have not, professor. But then, like, wrote out the the Cowboys, and I was like, they have not been good this year. Their run game is is actually terrible. It's second worst in the league, yeah. or worst right now. I can't even remember. It's not good. It's like they beat the Steelers, who I think. That's a good defense. They get some props. So I moved him to nine. I was like, that's still too high. Too I put him at 10. I was like, 10 feels right. Yeah. So I think we're spot on with the Cowboys is my point. Yeah. Like for the Packers, the way I was looking, because I, I really contemplated again, they got an honorable mention. They got a shout out. Um, I just want to see like what this team looks like against the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are going to be a good test for that run defense. Again, hopefully you have Jair back. The offense should be looking a little bit better, but I want to see how we're able to stop the run. And they win, I think, you know, there's a good chance that they make their way into the top 10 at that point. Yeah. But, yeah, I just want to see a little more. Yeah, Falcons are a weird team to figure out right now. They're yeah. they're interesting because I feel like... You could easily flop the, the the Packers and the Falcons. Yeah, I think so. I think it's it's what you said about the Ravens right now. I think heading into week six, we've seen glimpses of great teams. Of like, oh, like maybe it's like a component of it. Like their defense is really good this week, or like they're you know the yeah. Joe Burrow looked amazing, or Lamar Jackson looked amazing. I don't know if there are many great teams as of right now in the NFL. I think it's kind of we're still figuring it out. I think there's a good amount of sloppy play. I think there's a good amount of injuries right now. That's fair. And this makes sense. You know, we're heading out of September. You know, the first month of football, but it like the Chiefs. I gave them the number one spot over the Vikings because they were more dominant in their win. They basically doubled the time of possession that the Saints had. The Saints defense is pretty good. You know, and while the Vikings did well against the Jets, why they're number two, you know, the, the Chiefs just looked a little bit more dominant. So I don't know, though, if I've seen the Chiefs show up where their offense is like looking amazing, their defense. And again, a lot of yeah. his injuries and stuff like that. I don't know if there's a team right now because even Sam Donald didn't look great last week against a good Jets no. defense. Got his ass rocked in that game. So. The or it's the Chiefs a. are winning with their defense. Like they're just keeping keeping them in games. Mahomes is just playing really smart, efficient football. They bring in Kareem Hunt, who nobody wanted to sign. He runs for a hundred yards because of course he does. Juju Smith breaks a hundred receiving yards. And that Kareem Hunt signing, like you look at the Cowboys who can't run the ball at all. Yep. Why? What? You. <laughs> yep. He was affordable, Jared. Hey, yep. Jared, like somebody there has got to be better at evaluating talent. Like they might be better with Kareem Hunt than Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> um, mm. Mm. But uh, what was I going to show? Oh yeah, the the Falcons we were talking about. All right, so Texans. 
best at quarterback pressure rate right I'm now. I'm so Look at the sorry, Drake there. That's kind of surprising. But I'm so sorry. Falcons worst. So mm. it's like you talk about like a, mm. a flaw with the Falcons. We know this could have been addressed, obviously, in the draft. But if they can just get better in that department, if they can be yes below average instead of the worst, that's going to make a, a big difference. It's, you know an extra series or a stop to get cousins back out on the field with their offense right now. Like that's what you need to see from Atlanta. I agree. Uh, I don't know. How's the, the QB per se- Wow. Detroit's bottom five, but they've got the best guy at doing it. So that kind of just means like if Aiden Hutchinson's not getting <laughs> the pressure, the lions are not getting any pressure. It's going to be a tough night. Um, Commanders tending to where saints curse. I don't think I think the commanders are going to level out at some point. Blitz rate. And again, I worry about their defense, but right now just go along for the ride. You know, yeah. again, their divisions kind of just all over the place. So look at who blitzes the most. It is the Denver Broncos. I'm sorry. Just ahead of the Vikings. And look at number best two defenses in the NFL. They're just bringing heat. Look at number I'm two. I'm curious to see how this this approach works when the Broncos play the Chiefs. Mm. Um, and we talked about this in the why the Chiefs are boring, but historically, like when you blitzed Patrick Mahomes, he made you pay. He made you pay dearly. And it was a big worry I had yeah. when Vance Joseph came to the Broncos. Like this is a defensive coordinator who blitzes a lot. I don't know if that's the right recipe to slow down the Chiefs, but now I've got so much confidence in Vance. Blitz him a hundred percent of the time. Let's see what let's see what happens, man. Man, happens. this has been quite the turnaround. Frederico. I know, dude. It is quite the turnaround for you, Brad. I'm t- you on clickbait yesterday. You were, ooh, I, was, I got oh, spicy. That man, that man speaking with his chest right there. I haven't been able to do it for I don't know right, eight FLG? years. Right. This is eight years of pent up, and it's not even a quarterback you're getting behind. You're no, like, yeah, I believe it's defense. like I am all defense all I the do time. I believe, but my faith is just like he's not going to f it up every week. I'm what if Herbert scores fifty five on you this weekend? The Chargers score 55? Yeah, man. <laughs> no way. If it, it was like a good offense, I'd be like, there's an outside chance. Maybe. Chargers too hurt. 